Mother's Love, a play on a horror film is very interesting because the person we think we should be scared of is in truth in a scary situation um, himself. Uh, so it starts with what we assume will be a robbery. And so my first thought is, okay, you know, this is a, a new take on horror, something that is an everyday occurrence to us that is horrifying. Um, it doesn't need to be this supernatural thing all the time when it comes to horror. And so that's where my thought process was, but it actually ends up being the opposite, it ends up being a supernatural thing. And you kind of figure that out very quickly um, as soon as you see something dart across the, the, the screen, I'm like, okay, he picked the wrong house. <laughs> um, I love how they set up the mother's love, you know, and just, and set up the whole exposition for this family and just a few shots of the card and the picture and everything like that. And, you know, a picture says a lot and you can see a lot just through this picture in her expression. And at first you think, is he just caught in this lover's quarrel? And then there's these first round of shots that uh, seemingly come out of nowhere at the time. And then you kind of realize that this is a time loop that he's stuck in. So there's so many devices that they're using in, 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 in very well, well used devices as well. Um, so, you know, this guy is, uh, at first, there's no redeemable qualities. He's coming in here, he's stealing from these people. And then, you know, when he does discover this body, he still, his instinct is still to steal from the dead. Um, and so for them to be able to redeem him in some way, shape or form, you know, at first you think it's impossible, but they, they do it. Um, at some point you get caught up in what is the past, what is the present, what is happening? This time loop keeps replaying itself. The time, the shots are what, in my opinion, resets the time. And he's seeing the same event of how this man ended uh, this mother's life and his own because you know she's leaving him from all these various angles. And this ghost's plan is to keep the baby alive. It's all about saving the baby in, in any way, shape or form. And I do believe in some way that this has been replaying itself over and over again in an effort to get this, this child out of there. Um, and the villain becomes this unlikely hero at some point. You know, he, he realizes that this is a loop over time. He realizes what she wants. And she's very, very abrupt in the midst of the loop you know, don't forget about the baby. You know, I want you to know, this is what I want. This is why you're here. This is, this is all I want from you. Um, and then I think he figures out that, okay, this is a loop. This isn't real. Um, this isn't happening in real time. And my mission is to get this baby out of here. And that becomes the focus. So the villain becomes this unlikely hero in this story. And you do get a sense that she is able to rest, possibly because the baby is out of harm's way. But the loop you see, even as he's exiting, is still replaying itself. So it does make me wonder, what is what else is it that the ghost wants? Um, because it doesn't feel like it's fully resolved um, as of yet with just getting the baby out of the house. But... I did have to feel redeemed because you have to feel like this baby is in a safe place. And you, you know, you have to feel like this, this robber is gonna get this baby to safety. Like maybe he's gonna take it to his abuela or something, please. Like, because I still feel like at the end of the day, this guy's not the best guy, like, but he's better than nobody, you know? So you kind of are left feeling like, you know, maybe this baby will be all right. Hopefully. <laughs> Mother's Love was absolutely fantastic. Um, I loved the supernatural Groundhog's Day loop, essentially, where the same story was being repeated over and over, 
and with each time we saw this story we learned more information which I thought was very neat um, I love that the story unraveled as uh, we watched along I also love that this was an, ex an example of uh, a situation where technically speaking uh, your protagonist isn't necessarily a quote-unquote good guy uh, this is a man who starts the film attempting to rob a house uh, however, due to this new world that he enters, he ends up learning the horrors of what happened in this house. And even though he intended to rob it, he ends up uh, doing the morally right thing, which was rescuing the baby from uh, this unending hell. Uh, so those two elements in and of itself, I absolutely loved this one. Mother's Love was a really interesting premise that I thought was executed exceptionally well. Um, I really like movies that have weird kind of out there concepts or, uh, you know, play with structure or time or anything like that in a creative way. And I think that this film does uh, both of those really well. Uh, so I was into it from the start once I realized what was going on. The whole film is really suspenseful, which is really impressive considering a lot of the events are just repeating, uh, and we're just seeing them from different perspectives. Uh, I thought that it was really impressive that they were able to make it as suspenseful as it was. Uh, there was also a few really good scary moments here, uh, and the viewer, I thought, was allowed to feel intelligent uh, watching the film and kind of piecing together uh, the nature and direction of the story as it was going on. Uh, it was really satisfying to watch. The payoff I thought was very appropriate, uh, and it leaves just enough unexplained to keep things interesting and to keep you thinking about the film uh, after you've sat through the credits. So this was another one that I thought was really cool, really creative, uh, and very enjoyable. Well, this is a really interesting idea for a horror thriller. I, um, I like the whole time warp concept that, uh, you know, this house seems to be stuck in some sort of, you know, time loop. And, um, you know, this is what this guy picks for his home invasion. It's interesting because we're, we're seeing this guy with his uh, crowbar and his gun. And, uh, you know, we're not liking him. He's uh, breaking into somebody's house. But at the end, he ends up being the hero. He ends up caring about this baby. He sees this, he sees this uh, situation unfold from so many angles that, um, yeah, he wants to help, which is really interesting. Um, a reversal at the end. I like that, uh, you know, in, in his character. Uh, well, this is really nicely done. The actors did a great job. It was nicely edited and directed, and um, yeah, a good story idea. Wonder where it goes from here. Wonder if that guy goes around getting caught in a lot of time warps or uh, just what's going on. But uh, yeah, good job. I hope this go places, goes places for you and does well. I really liked Mother's Love. It was an interesting concept. I liked, um, you know, the villain to hero motif um, in this. It was a, you know, it wasn't uh something i was really expecting i thought it was just going to be a villain to dead uh motif um but, so this is a nice uh change i also like the idea of a um a time warp i think that's really interesting and there's a lot of different avenues that can go down um and you you came up with a really interesting story with it um this man going in to you know rob a house and uh, coming out, you know, encountering this time warp and, like, trying to save a baby. Like, it's very interesting. Um, and not one that I saw coming at the start. So I want to commend you. That was a really interesting idea. Um, I think the pacing was really well. I think the actor acted it out really well. There was a good, uh, sense of humanity to him, kind of being like, uh, what am I doing here? Why is this all happening? I guess I have to make the most out of this situation. And, um, I hope if he ever robbed any other places, they find out about this and he is absolved of all of his crimes uh, because that's too crazy to go to prison for afterwards. Um, but yeah, overall, really interesting story. I like the idea a lot. And, um, you know, if you want to make more iterations of this, you definitely can because there's so many uh, different avenues you can go down with it. So really, really interesting concept. I really liked A Mother's Love. It shows how far a mother will go to save her baby, even after death. This robber being involved in a time loop. 
shows that these people were killed within the past day to the point where the baby would still be alive but it really does go to show how strong a mother's love really is that she will do anything to save her baby and it's really powerful for a horror film to use a ghost story to show what a mother will do do it's unfortunate that these two ghosts are living in this loop over and over and over again but at least the mom got a little closure by seeing that her baby's going to be taken off hopefully to safety makes it like i said a powerful film because it shows that a mother's love transcends even death this review is for mother's love i quite enjoyed this one the plot is simple and effective in building the mystery and anticipation i like the premise of the mom protecting her son and the events developing up to the end the the ending is quite cute and unexpected and i love their special effects, the plot, the um, mummified or ghost, ghostly figures. It is quite an original story and it speaks of love has no boundaries, I guess. I really enjoyed it.